I'm Daniel Fuller from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about worshiping in spirit and truth. So in John chapter 4, Jesus says that God is a spirit, and those who worship him must do so in spirit and truth. Worshiping him in the spirit, worshiping him in truth. I've just been thinking about this scripture a little bit and what this means. And just want God to expand, just to, to give us insight and revelation into what this means and help us to walk in this consistently. And so we're going to take communion over that here in just a minute. But let's pray first, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear Son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and crushed and pierced and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you better. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you called us. And the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us. And the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ and to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today and help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes and do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, I'm asking you to teach us today. Teach us about worshiping you in spirit and truth. The thing that's coming to my mind right now is we talked about this week, our weekly yearly cycle update. We talked about life balance, about balancing the spiritual, the mental and emotional aspects of life, and then the practical areas of life. And how we have to prioritize the spiritual part of life. And I think a big part of that, we're going to prioritize the spiritual part of life, is worshiping in spirit and truth. And we're asking for your help today to teach us about this, to help us to walk in this consistently, the way that you intended us to, the way you desire us to. And we think on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We'd all missed it. We'd all turned to our own ways and God laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes, we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by God, smitten by God. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in God's sight. All through his one sacrifice. And God raised him up from the dead and seated him at his right hand. And he raised us up together with him. And made us sit together with him. And communion is a celebration of our union with him. Being joined together as one. And so Father, I thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. 
He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. We get to walk out this day today in a covenant relationship with God. So, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have a juice, you can take a juice. All right, so normally after our time of communion, we talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. So just a little reminder today. I like to start every exercise by working the feet and the ankles because they increase circulation or blood flow in the body. And we want to circulate that blood in the body to get us started each time. Now, a simple way to do that, you can do calf raises. You can work on uh, taking a lacrosse ball to the bottoms of the feet, massaging the feet, all different things that you can do to get that workout started in a good way. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.